look at this little cutie. Someone's just sitting here hanging out. He was licking himself because this is how he sits when he cleans himself or cleans his belly. But <laughs> I think he was cleaning his belly and then was like, hey, let's just sit here. Oh, there we go. Back to cleaning. I think he's so cute when he sits like this. I've got some pictures of it on my Instagram, by the way. <laughs> Hi, figs. Hi, figs. Um, anyway, so good morning. Today is Saturday. Um, T minus less than one week until I start my new job, ah! <laughs> which has definitely been on my mind this past week. Has been tiring. I'm preparing to, you know, hand everything off with my current position and, um, you know, train other people or give the task to other people when it's a lot and then wrap up projects that I was just given. Ugh. Um, and then, um, take on the new position next Friday. The good news is that um, when I start my new job as finance manager next Friday, it's going to coincide with that department's staff retreat, which is going to be spent at the zoo. So my first day on the job is gonna be at the Santa Barbara Zoo. Um, apparently we're gonna have like a catered lunch, we're going to do a train ride, and I think some kind of special penguin encounter. I don't have all the details yet, um, but that'll be pretty interesting for a first day at a new job, huh? That'll be memorable. So um, anyways, I've just been kind of anxious and nervous and thinking about it and haven't been sleeping that well. And now I'm just like really tired now that it's the weekend and um, I still have things to do and stuff I wanna do, but part of me just wants to flop down. So um, that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, Ow. oh my back hurts actually. Um, I slept on my back wrong the other night and um, that was like Thursday night and then all Friday it hurt and then last night it still kind of hurt. So <sighs> anyways, um, yeah, busy week with stuff going on and Yakubo finished up his masters by the way. He did his paper and presentation yesterday so he's done he's finishing up with UCSB and then gonna go work for Phillips near Boston this summer so he's leaving us anyways um yeah today I'm gonna go to the farmer's market like usual that's like my Saturday morning usual thing now I've gotten into that routine pretty heavily I just want to get blueberries peaches because peaches are delicious right now and then papayas um, I saw this stand called Golden State Papayas last time and um, I looked up a recipe. Which one am I going to do? I don't know. I found a few recipes this morning because I was thinking I need to plan out some meals. I need to get back into that and do some cooking on the weekends because last weekend, well, I guess I made, did I make that potato something gratin? But I didn't make that much because I didn't have that many leftovers this past week. Anyway, so... I pulled up two recipes online. I'm gonna buy some ingredients for that as well today. Um, it's a little bit sprinkly today, which means that everybody is kind of like spazzy and driving like lunatics. Oh, we got some shoeless people. That's a nice treat. Um, yeah, so it might not be as busy as usual. I don't know, I feel like there's still a decent turnout today. Hmm, those stone fruits here. They've got pluots this week. They look different than the other pluots. They're more greenish. Some Arctic star white nectarines, honey blaze nectarines. I wanna see what white peaches they have. They've got yellow peaches. I don't see any. Do you have white peaches this week? Not this week, no. Oh, we might have got basil and some tomatoes over there that look interesting. Squashes. I know nothing about papayas. Golden State Papaya. There we go. These are big ones, huh? Some of these are quite big. I think I'm going to do a small one. Probably just a small one here. We got some strawberries that smell good. Car in the parking lot outside the farmer's market today. Look at the back of that thing. Jeez, that would be so awesome. If you imagine going to like a drive-in on a date or something. I saw the couple pull up in this actually. It was an older couple. <clears throat> but what a neat car. It's actually sprinkling, sprinkling right now. I wonder if they have a hood they can put up. That's cool, huh? Let's see the front of it. 
Again, I don't know what the car is. I just know when I see cool ones and I'm like, that would be neat to drive. That would be neat. And they've got a different looking license plate there. Most of the California ones um, are white, so. Heading over to the chocolate store. Uh, behind me is State Street, by the way. And then down that way is Stearns Wharf and stuff. Um, so I was at the farmer's market. It's sprinkling very lightly right now, by the way, which means that people are like hiding and not coming out, which is delightful because there's less people out easier to find parking. Anyways, my back really hurts because I slept on it wrong Thursday night and it still hurt last night and then this morning. So I had a hard time carrying um, stuff around at the farmer's market and I was just getting cranky. Got my purse on one hand, something on the other hand, arm. I'm just, it just hurts and I don't like it. Chocolate, I bet chocolate Maya for here. I'm fine, how are you? What are you painting? Oh my gosh, is that gold dust? Oh, how fun, that's exciting. Oh, it's it's interesting, it's a little quieter out due to the rain, but still. Yeah, commencement I'm downtown. My back is killing me. It really, really hurts. It was hard to do these errands. I felt like I was gonna cry at one point when I went to close my car door because all the pain is on my left side. It got a lot worse going out to do that stuff and walking around and I couldn't carry my farmer's market on my left. It hurt too much. That's where I hurt myself on the left side while sleeping. I'm gonna see if I can get in with my old chiropractor. I haven't seen him for two years, but I like to try to see him. All right, so um, farmer's market, what did we get there? I got actually three things of Galena blueberries. They had a deal. It's $5 for one or $12 for all three. So I was like, I'm gonna get as many blueberries as possible. And then I thought maybe I'd use them for um, like blueberry pancakes one night or something like that. And then they did not have white peaches at the place I like, but they did have these nectarines, which were really good and I'd actually tried them. The gal gave me a sample. They were really good. So I also got pluots from them. Uh, these pluots are very red inside. When you open them up, it's kind of, the guy who gave us a sample said it's almost like you killed something, it's all red, <laughs> red and bloody. But um, these pluots are good. They're also from the Riger family farms. And then I got a papaya from who, who, Golden State Papayas. And the gal who helped me select one said this should be ready tomorrow, Sunday night, because that's what I'm planning to make my recipe. Um, yeah, so I'll use a papaya, which I've never done anything with. And then at Peacock Family Farms, I um, just saw they had some like interesting looking tomatoes. I don't know, they look cool. Um, this one is orange. <laughs> Hopefully you can see the color okay. Um, yeah, so I got that and then um, some basil and the basil I'm gonna use with mozzarella to make a little Capri salad. I was thinking about doing it today, but we'll see if I'll do that today or tomorrow. So here's what I got at the Whole Foods today. I've got a bundle of cilantro, which smells very good and it makes me think I should make some guacamole, but I didn't see any avocados there, so. Um, it does smell good. Some more of these little snack moles chocolate chips. I like to take them into work. Um, also, I've started peeling off my gel polish. So at the two week point, it starts chipping and then I start peeling it off. Bad habit. Um, so snack moles and then just a couple of mushrooms. I did put them in the bag, but I, I don't know. Took them out of the bag to film this. And then a red onion jalapeno. This is for some recipes. Spinach also for a recipe. This was a little bit random, the spaghetti squash. I had spaghetti squash once years ago and you just cut it up and then rake the inside of it. I don't remember if you cook it, you probably cook it, but then you just kind of treat it like spaghetti. It's kind of weird, but I thought that'd be fun. <laughs> um, some tortillas, cause I'm gonna make quesadillas and actually the mushrooms and some other things are gonna go inside that quesadilla. Um, some more hummus, roasted garlic and artichoke. This yogurt, I don't usually get sigus. I tend to prefer brown cow, but this one has um, fig and lemon. And I thought that sounded good. I love figs and haven't had them for a while, but I think they're coming back into season now. Some mozzarella, which will go with the, um, you know, the tomato and basil that I picked up earlier at the farmer's market. A red pepper, and then I think, did I mention the spinach? Anyways, um, the sea scallops, that's the last thing. The sea scallops I'm making with the recipe with the 
papaya. I actually don't like scallops that much from when I was a kid, so we're gonna try it and see how this goes. Hi there, it is um, Saturday, almost the evening, and I'm feeling a lot better now, thank goodness. I was not happy earlier when I was just so uncomfortable and my back was hurting, but I took some Advil earlier, uh, two of those, and then I turned on my heating pad, which I've got on the couch, and I alternated that with the ice pack. I don't like the ice pack because that's the thing that like tightens you up and <laughs> it's uncomfortable. I prefer the ice pack, the heat, because it makes you feel all loosey-goosey and better. Um, but I remember my chiropractor used to tell me to switch the two. So anyways, I'm feeling better now. I'm still gonna kind of take it easy this weekend. Um, I don't wanna do too much like activity and then my back will hurt and I just need to make sure I can work this whole next week. I gotta wrap up my old job, take on the new job and try not to get too stressed out because I really feel the stress is what caused the back pain, plus not sleeping right. So um, I'm making some quesadillas right now. I'm actually gonna put them in the oven. I've got cheddar cheese, basil, red onion, red pepper, and mushroom. Yeah, that's what I added. So anyways, I'm just um, gonna heat up those two quesadillas. There are some cars outside. It's been so busy. Earlier when I went out, it was just crazy because they have UCSB's graduation this weekend. So there's a lot of people in town and it's just, it's kind of crazy out. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna make those quesadillas for dinner and just keep taking it easy. I am doing some laundry though, so I'm at least doing something. Doing something, <laughs> getting some work done. So yeah, I'll see you. Hello, good morning. Today is Sunday. I just finished doing some cleaning of my apartment, vacuuming and dusting. I'm still kind of taking it a bit easy um, with my back and all. I guess I worry about stressing myself out or hurting my back more and then having issues throughout the work week and when I can't like take time off work because I'm gonna be wrapping up my job. So anyways, yeah, um, so yeah, I just did some cleaning. I am maybe gonna go out to the grocery store to Albertsons and then Yakabo may come over. We haven't really firmed it up. We were gonna do kayaking today. I've been bugging him about it for a few weeks, at least two weekends since like Memorial Day weekend. I've been like, we need to go kayaking. As soon as you finish up your masters, we're gonna do it. <laughs> and now that he finished up on Friday, we were gonna do it today, but then with my back and stuff, I was like, no. I don't wanna do a bunch of physical activity and possibly hurt it worse and like, you know. So, no kayaking this weekend. <laughs> Which stinks, cause I was so like gung-ho about it and I've been the one pushing it. So, um, he might wanna bake a cake together, he suggested, suggested. so we'll see about that. Um, if not, it might just be a low-key day here watching some Lifetime movies and chilling out. <laughs> I am gonna make that dish for dinner tonight though, the papaya and the scallops, roasted scallops or something. So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting dinner. All right. Hi there, um, it's Sunday evening. I really haven't been up to that much today. I cleaned, I went and got coffee, I went for walks, I took it easy. <laughs> so that's about it. I don't have much to share in terms of like doing stuff today. Um, I've had work on my mind a lot though, thinking about handing stuff off. Anyways, um, I'm about to start preparing dinner. I am making this seared scallops with spicy papaya sauce. Woohoo! Um, I'm hungry. I eat early, by the way. It's only five o'clock, but I'm usually hungry. Like, as soon as I get home from work, I'm like, it's dinner time. So over here, you can see I've got the papaya and it's supposed to be ready today. The gal said, don't worry about the spots or anything. It's getting a little bit squishier. So I've got the papaya, red onion, cilantro, cilantro, whatever. Some of the red bell pepper. Some of it I used last night for the quesadilla. Um, this jalapeno, <laughs> I don't want to use too much because I can't handle much spice. And then this is kind of an old line, but I think it should be okay. So anyways, that's part of the um, ingredients for the dinner. And then the scallops, I'm going to wait until um, all of the vegetables have been chopped first. And then I'll bring that out. I just need to start prepping and like chopping stuff right now. So that's what I'm going to do first. This is what we've got now. The scallops, I bought half a pound, which is around 10 or so. And then... Papaya sauce, which it makes a lot of, um, even though I cut down on it, it adding all the items. So, um, got the sauce there, a whole bunch of these. I maybe I was thinking I cook it all, then my 
refrigerate the other half and microwave it the next day, but that might be gross. Maybe I'll pan sear them tomorrow. Anyways, I was hoping this would, you know, be a couple nights of dinner. Just finished up cleaning from dinner. Uh, the dinner turned out good. I'm still not a huge scallops, scallops fan. <laughs> Why do I have trouble with that word? Um, I remember I didn't like it when I was a kid and I thought, well, I'll try it now that I'm an adult and it's okay. It's still kind of like just squishiness. It doesn't seem to have any particular taste to it, but I did like it with the papaya. The fresh papaya is good to have it with some kind of like tropical fruit like that. I think you could also maybe add like pineapple to it or something. That would be good. And I do have leftovers, of course, so I can have that for dinner later on this week. Um, yeah, this upcoming week is going to be bananas with finishing up my current job, taking on the new one. I think I've mentioned that enough. It's just really on my mind. Um, it's going to be a, a, a crazy week. So, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I had a kind of chill, relaxed weekend, although I think it might make for um, a kind of boring vlog, <laughs> short vlog, but sometimes you just need to have those weekends, plus, you know, with my back hurting me and all, so. Anyways, and I am gonna get a farm box this upcoming week, which I added extra stuff to. I added eggs and this tri-tip meat stuff. Anyways, I'm just thinking about the upcoming week, so. Anyways, lots, lots coming up this week, but um, I hope that you had a, a good weekend, relaxing or fun, whatever you ended up doing, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.